Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. So today, we're gonna do a new set. As you can see, the old nail polish is already fading. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Plus, I mean, there is a little bit of a growth. So there's a space by the cuticle area. So I'm just gonna do a refill. I'm gonna start by removing the polish that's on top for the old set, which is what I'm removing right now. It is regular nail polish. So my other hand has a lot of bling or you can say rhinestones on them and to glue them on I actually used gel UV or LED top coat and that's what I love to use because it makes the rhinestones stay on forever. So in the video you see that not a lot of the regular polish isn't removed because the gel top coat is on top. To remove anything with gel you either have to soak it or drill it off. If you have an old pair of cuticle nippers, then go ahead and use that, but I don't. So I'm gonna use my good pair to remove these rhinestones off before I drill off the gel polish. And while you're doing this, just make sure you're very careful because you can hurt yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the rest of the process. I know a lot of people like to see what is actually done without cutting so much. So yep, I'm just gonna fast forward the next few parts. So this is what the nails look like without all the rhinestones and I'm gonna remove or try to remove whatever polish is left on there before I drill the gel polish. I'm taking my medium coarse sand bit and just using that around the cuticle area and where the old polish and drill polish is. And once again, this process is going to take a while, so I'm going to fast forward the rest of the parts. Yay, so we are making some progress. I'm gonna take a file and remove whatever is left and just to kind of 
uh, make the surface a little bit smooth before I refill the cuticle area. Make sure you're not being too rough because a gel is quite soft compared to acrylic so you don't want to be removing a lot unless you want to. That just means you're going to have to rebuild which I'm not going to do. I'm just refilling it so whatever I'm doing right now is just smoothing out the surface to make sure there's no polish or anything. To do my fill, I'm going to use this product I found on AliExpress and this product is really good. I love it and it's really affordable and cheap. If you guys like the old color that I have on my nails, then it's by another company and brand. It's what I'm showing on the screen right now and it's also from AliExpress. So I'll put the links down below if you're interested in both. The brush I'm going to use is for a poly gel. Um, product but it works for gel like hard gel so I'm just going to use it for my hard gel fill. When you're doing a fill you still have to prep the cuticle area because that's where your natural nail is so just make sure you kind of buff it out with a file and dehydrate it so the gel stays on. And a reminder that I am just focusing where the regrowth is so I'm putting a bulb of gel where I want it and just making sure I push it slightly close to the skin, not entirely make sure it doesn't touch the skin, but just kind of pillowing it and pushing it down. I'm gonna use whatever's on the brush and just brush it down the rest of the nail by the fruit edge so the polish kind of smooths out and blend in with the rest of the gel. After doing this, I do like to have the gel set for a little bit because it will kind of go down and let gravity do its work and just settles everything. You can also use gel and put it all over the nail before you actually grab a bead of gel to build the nail up because this can be easier since you have a sticky layer to work with. After a few seconds, I'm double checking the thumb making sure everything looks good before I put it under the UV LED lamp. And here's another clip just showing how I build or do a fill. Run your brush perpendicular downwards so you can build that apex and have a good apex. This is the finished hand. Um, I finished building it and doing the fill. It looks kind of weird because I did fill with a clear gel. But I promise you I did build it right by the cuticle area so I won't have to do another fill until a couple of weeks. Always take your time filing, I always do, and it always pay off. So even though you might not be the best at sculpting, as long as you take your time filing down the bulk and your nails, your nails will turn out perfect. Now as you can see, I am using a hand file to file off this gel. I actually just realized I never use my electric gel because I don't need it since gel is softer than acrylic so you actually don't need your electric gel. A hand file will do.
to finish filing, I'm going to take my buffer block and just smooth out the nails to make sure the polish coat will be smooth and ready for top coat. I'm taking this pink slash coral color by Le Mini Macaron and use that as my main polish color. I am going to do two coats of this just because I'm not going to put anything else on top and I want this to be as opaque as possible. I'm not going to get too crazy with decorations. I'm going to do one finger per hand and I'm going to take my poly clay charm and a few rhinestones and just decorate. Not sure what I want to do yet so I'm just free styling what I have in mind. And again I'm going to take my gel top coat and use that as glue because it is so strong. It will make your decoration stay on until your next set. I do want to apologize for not having my camera focus most of the time. It's actually very hard because when I have the camera zoomed in, it's difficult to actually locate certain things that should be in focus. And to finish off, just make sure you use some cuticle oil to hydrate your cuticles. And you guys, this is the finished, finished results. I actually really love this set. I love simple sets like this. I am okay with like one accent finger per hand and that's already good enough for me i love bling but i don't know i just love just simple you know sets like this with just like one color all over so let me know what you guys think if you guys do like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel make sure you do subscribe so you can see more of my videos